everybody, welcome to Bubble Baby Sew Alongs. Today we're going to be cutting our pattern pieces and cutting our fabric, prepping everything for our coffee and tea cardigan sew along. Um, this pattern is from Aniline Pattern Company and it is one of the most comfortable cardigans I've ever worn. Definitely beats store-bought cardigans by far. Um, this cardigan actually has 128 options to choose from. So every time I've sewn it, I've done it a little bit different and I've loved every option so far. Since there are so many options though, I did want to go over cutting the pieces before you do so. Um, there are a couple things to keep in mind before cutting everything out. Um, first, you're going to want to decide what main pattern pieces you want. So you could go with the coffee version or the tea version. So the coffee version is going to be a little bit more straight um, and more squared at the bottom, um, whereas the tea version is going to be a little bit more rounded and curved. Um, the next thing you're going to want to decide is what length you want. You could have the duster length, which is going to, it's supposed to fall right um, behind the back of your knee, um, or the casual length, which is up a little bit higher. Um, and then next, you're going to want to decide if you want a hood or no hood. Um, some of the piece, other pieces are going to be cut differently if you decided to go with the hood or you decided to go without the hood. So make sure you decide that before you um, cut anything. Um, the next thing you're going to want to decide is your sleeves. Do you want a relaxed sleeve? Do you want a fitted sleeve? Do you want sleeve cuffs? Um, do you want short sleeves? Um, so think about that before cutting anything as well. Um, also the bands on the cardigan, so you, you could have a wide band or a slim band. Um, and then lastly, if you want pockets or not. So after you've decided everything, um, just make sure you pay extra close attention to cutting your pieces. Some of the pieces have dashed lines indicating cut here for no hood or straight lines indicating cut here for hood option. Um, I hope I got those right. I don't have the pieces in front of me now. Um, it could be vice versa. But um, yeah, so just make sure you pay extra close attention to all of that. Once you cut everything out, um, then you could go ahead and cut your fabric. After you've cut your fabric, then go ahead and transfer all your markings over. Um, for example, um, the sleeve markings. So the sleeves are not cut on the fold on this pattern. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you mark your front, your back, and your middle portion of your, your sleeves. Um, so for the back pattern piece, um, I have it right here. Um, I've chosen uh, to mark mine with clips, um, which I like because my clips come in different colors. Um, I got the uh, ones off Amazon. If you're watching this on YouTube, then I'll go ahead and put the link in the comments um, for the clips. Um, but yes, they're color coded, so you not only could use them um, in lieu of needles, which, I'm sorry, pins, which poke, um, but you could also um, use them to tell fronts and backs and etc. So, yes, yeah, so I've um, clipped where the back part of my sleeves go here. Um, and then this is my front. So my front I'm sticking with yellow. Um, and then here's my actual sleeve. So the pink indicates this will go on the back. Yellow indicates this should go on the front. And my green indicates this should be my middle marker. So just an idea, um, however you decide to transfer your markings, go ahead and make sure that you transfer those over. Um, once you transfer those over, just keep in mind the seam allowance for this pattern is a quarter inch. The hem allowance for this pattern is a half inch. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. Um, I did want to show you guys this awesome fabric I'm using from Bubble Baby Custom Fabrics. Um, this is actually going to be on pre-order starting February 3rd. So definitely check that out. Um, the pre-order, I don't have an exact end date, but um, everything should ship out to my customers um, mid to late March. Um, so yeah, this is an awesome round. This is a beautiful French terry that I'm using. Um, if you are watching this in my sew along group, don't forget to follow me on YouTube. I do post all of my sew alongs there so that you can access them easier. Um, I think that's it, guys. So let's get sewing. All right. Bye.